Today, we are doing the worst stumble guide challenge ever, where the maps, the emotes, and even the skins are terrible. And to make things worse, I'm going to be playing with my Discord, and if they win, they get absolutely nothing. Huh? Not actually. They'll still get a thousand gems if they win. But let's hop into the first game. All right, game number one. We got Skyrocket Royale. I could not tell you the last time we played this map. And to make matters worse, I put it on only banana. So it's literally not going to be useful at all. There's no chance that I'm going to be able to qualify because I'm going to be too preoccupied with all of my viewers sending rockets my way. But um, if in case you had never played this map before, it's trash. <laughs> You're trying to collect coins, but there's so much going on around you that it's literally impossible. And it kind of defeats the whole purpose because... I mean, if you had a rocket launcher, you would think it would be an elimination map. Nope. You're trying to collect coins. Congrats whoever's going off in this challenge, but it's kind of RNG. And I'm dead again. Oh, we're back? <laughs> that was pretty good. I'll give it that. And two seconds. We got 17th. Okay. If you thought it couldn't get worse than that, we got Scaffold Stumble. Needless to say, this is a nerf map that you can't find anyone on. It's so massive that you can basically play hide and seek. But my biggest complaint about the map is take a look at the right corner. 200 seconds of gameplay. Do you know how long that is for a mobile game? There's also a random Mr. Beast blaster that you would have no idea is in this level. Uh, just in the center here. And the blaster itself does like 100 damage per shot. Okay. And go. We finally got it. Look at me. Oh, 75 and it's a double. That's crazy. I just lasered somebody. Yo, stay back, stay back, stay back. Also, I haven't really been paying attention to what people's skins are. We got the starfish that is kind of flat. We got this gamer girl. I don't think it's that bad. Okay, yeah. That ice cream cone. Not gonna lie. Don't like it. <laughs> Stop targeting me. Yo, chill. See, I might be wrong, but I feel like some of these skins are kind of hype. Maybe there's not that many trash skids, but I'm using the worst of the worst. It literally is themed around farts. Oh, this is the same skin I'm using. Wow. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. That is what we're talking about. <gasps> Holy. Next up, we got Stumble Trouble, which you might look at this map and be like, hey, it's not that bad. It looks kind of okay. But it's so crazy when you do not have emotes. It's one of the worst playing maps because you just get hit 24-7. And if you're not lucky enough to make it past this first part, you're gonna have to do it like over and over and over again. Oh my word. Hold, oh, thank God. Gotta worry about the cannonballs. And then this spinner up here is a nightmare. I guess it's not that bad compared to what we played before. We have to pray that we qualify. Come on, go, go, wait, we're literally last. Woo, we'll take it. Up next, we got Cannonball Chaos, which again is not terrible, but when you have so many people and they're all sweaty and you don't have, oh my goodness, that bomb came out of nowhere. When you don't have volleyball on, it's a nightmare. Also, we only have Karate Chop on, so <laughs> there's really no emotes turned on this lobby. Also, do you guys like my skin? I think it's great for no particular reason. Wait, there's a chance. The bombs putting in work. I can get there. I can get there. Woo! That guy is insane. He dove across the finish line just to try to body block me. That's wild. And then for one of the longest race maps, we have Monopoly Rush, which when it first came out, I liked it a lot. But when you play it over and over, you literally just hold forward and kind of hope that you uh, get a better route than your opponent. And when you don't have volleyball, it takes forever to complete this level. Oh no, get me through. No! I'm crying. I'm crying. Yeah, we lost. We literally lost already. Like I was saying, if you don't get the right route, you're just out of the competition entirely. All we could do is literally just look at my naked banana. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> We're just going on a lovely stroll. And like I said, that's how it goes. 
Coming up next, we got Space Drop, which there might be some Space Drop lovers out there, but I think this is the slowest paced like elimination map in the entire game. Just because you have so much time before you actually die. And if you emote someone, it really does nothing. But the good thing is we got 32 players, so tiles will disappear pretty quick. We're going to go to the bouncer right below us. Okay, try to have some strategy here. We're going to dive. <gasps> T-Bones, how dare you? We're gonna have to share this. Where's the next? Wait, can I get there? No! I think everyone's dying all at once. You know, with 32 players, it wasn't that bad. Maybe I hate on space drop too much. I just think it's so hard to spectate though. Why, why getting the win? Next, we got Stumble Soccer, which isn't a bad map, but when you only have one round of it, it's gonna pick a random person to win regardless of the outcome. Uh, we do have volleyball on, which makes this more interesting let's make a wall people did we let one in was that a goal oh no they got a goal from that this is not looking good for us this is the worst challenge possible if i was really trying to make it the worst i should make it for zero gems but no one would play if it was just for fun my, 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 my. this is so hectic dude the ground pinch a little oh that's in go 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 off the corner someone no! Dang it. Who won? You are the luckiest man alive. S'more shot. All right. We have Turbo Temple, which if you love this map, kudos to you. But I don't know what it is. I just bang off every single thing. And up until recently, they had two laps on this map. But I, I think they listened to either my videos or the community's feedback. So they actually made it better. So we kind of have to speed up here. Otherwise, we're definitely not winning this thing. And then emotes do nothing. So people are causing traffic jam. Get out of my way, bruh. Yep, I, I just lost. There's no coming back from it. There's no items which would make it more interesting. So if Scopely does happen to be watching this, hello. But if you could like make it so like don't do what I'm experiencing right now, that would be wonderful. And now I'm driving into the wall. You know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna... Someone already won? And bringing it back to the OG worst map in the game, we got Floor Flip. And the reason this is so bad is because when you don't have emotes and everyone is trying as hard as they can, no one can make this first jump. Oh, did they fix it? I swear, it used to not do that. It used to just make everyone stuck at the start. So maybe it's not that bad? We'll see if they're able to finish in a pretty decent time, but... Oh! Well, half of them got stuck. Maybe the map's not that bad. Interesting. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm starting to run out of the absolute worst of the worst maps. And the only reason this map has made the cut is just because it's a collection map. It's just not that intense. You run around and hope that you can collect the pellets before your opponents, but the overall map design, like the aesthetic of it, really cool. The gameplay though, it just kind of makes you kind of mindlessly run around, which I guess that is what Pac-Man is. It would have been so cool if you could have ate like the power-ups and then ate your opponents because it then plays like an elimination map. I think it's also too big of a map. That's also my issue with it. That, this is kind of the same problem with the Monopoly map. It just takes too long. Woo! That was pretty good timing. Ooh, okay, we got Knight with the win. Okay, uh, not gonna lie, this is the worst game yet. We got Rocket Rumble going into Barbie, and then for finals, we have Treasure Island, which is another collection map. So if you wanted a random challenge that's pretty much no skill, and kind of just luck. Well, you're about to witness it. On this map, you could just taunt to get by the whole rocket part, which kind of destroys the whole, uh, you know, mechanic. And I'm just gonna stand right here and distract them. Let's slowly make our way over. No! I can't dive. Okay, there's no way we throw this. They have to get three more in 20 seconds. It's doable if they get that center one. <gasps> oh no. It looks like they might. They need one more. Not, yes. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Seven seconds. No. Come on, come on. Yes, tied. Wait, oh, no! We were winning that entire time. That's crazy. And now we got another collection map. We got Barbie, but to be fair, this is more entertaining than Rocket Rumble and Treasure Island because it's actually an elimination map combined with a collection map. So you gotta get the different items and it looks like the telescope is the first one. Pretty relaxed map. 
and it takes a long time if you're playing with bots. But if you have pros that are sweating for a thousand gems, it's not the worst to watch because people get out pretty quick. All right, let's get a tar. This person's on top of it. Oh my word. That's like world record pace right there. So if it's guitar, it can't be guitar again. So is he going to the cupcake? He is. Let's see, does he predict it? Could be the cupcake, could be soccer ball. And I think it could also be the telescope. And it's the telescope. So he actually gets the worst odds here. Only one more person gets eliminated though. So as long as he's not the slowest, but he's doing terrible right now. And all right, invigorating gameplay. <laughs> And for the final round, we got Treasure Island, which started all the collection maps, which wouldn't be terrible, but you got two minutes of it. So kick back and watch them just run around the map. Oh, whew. took a little bit of a nap there. Uh, three seconds and the winner is INF. Next up, we got Honey Drop, and this map is amazing. The only reason I put it on this list is because with 32 players, it finishes in two seconds. So there's no skill based around it. You kind of just run for your life. There's really no way to know where there's going to be tiles for you to stand on. Okay, that was a glitch. Um, but yeah, it's already over. The map's amazing. Okay, we're doing two more games, and this one's not that bad, but the emotes that I chose are god-awful. We got Karate Chop, which most people don't have because it was luck-based. You had to get it from a free wheel, I believe. And then you got Briefcase, which you had to earn as well, and some people don't have. And then we got Snowball, which you don't see if you get hit or not, and it really doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, the reason we got the NFL map on this list is because it's just a complete reskin. It's really cool that they were able to collab with the NFL for that Super Bowl, I believe, what, a year ago? Actually, yeah, it's coming up on exactly a year. And then the only reason we got Lava Land here is just because I think it'd be super funny to have Karate Chop when other people don't on this level. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be the only person with Karate Chop. Get over here. Okay, Prime has it. Trent has it. Oh God, briefcase. Oh, and the problem with briefcase is it doesn't hit anyone. It hits their head and then eventually, maybe people will run into it. Somebody eat that briefcase. We just have to get past two more people. Two more people. Aaron, relax. You don't have it, do you? Okay, you don't. Get out. Oh, wait. Everyone has it here. Did he fall through the map? I think Trent did. Push him off. Yes. Okay, in the finals. Wait, this could be it. And then finally, we have Space Race. And the only reason this is here is because of the final ending. It's completely random. You could have made it all the way to finals and your hopes and dreams could just be shattered just because they decide to choose the wrong path and I'm dead. I think that rabbit wins no matter what. If whoever's wearing that chief skin can get there in time, he might be able to make that randomness play to his favor. Yep, the rabbit ended up winning. Going into our final game. All right, this is gonna be our final game, and this is probably the best map that we've played today, but we're doing three rounds of it. So there's gonna be 15 lives. Um, so if you don't know, the other side lasts forever, especially when you have great players. We're gonna see how long this actually could go for. And I actually put on volleyball, so they have the best means to stay alive. If you guys want to see a part two of this video, let me know, because I think we could make it even worse. Or if you want me to make the best Stumble Guys challenge ever, um, I'll only pick the best maps, the best emotes, and go from there. Oh no, please. That's my first death. This map has so much potential. I just think it should have one life or two. Just as predicted, we're still playing this level. One eternity later. Hey, finally. We go on to round two, and we're back at it. 10 hours later. <laughs> Here we go. Oh boy, relax. Oh no, so fast. Eh! No, I've already lost two lives. Wait, this is way more difficult than the last game we played. It's very random in the order that it sends the cars. The middle is more optimal because it gives you two <laughs> ways to go. There's three more people. Ooh, we get the rare UFO spawn. Let's go. Now, don't mess this up, because if you slip off the UFO, still get hit by the car. All right, two more people. Off the car. Nice, off the car again. No! Oh gosh, please, people! I only have one more life! One more person needs to get out. Not me, not me, please! Yes! 
We're in finals. Oh. And here we go. Third and final round of this. I like to try to stay high ground, but in the early phases, you can kind of just chill. Oh gosh, please. No! That's not good. No! Oh my goodness. Why did it send me like that? Oh, that's so bad. I only got three lives left. Oh no. I lost. We got two lives left. I think at this point, I just want to be not the first person to get out. As long as we're not that bad. I'm disappointed. Again, just trying not to be the first. Oh no, this could get me eliminated. This could get me eliminated. <gasps> what did I say? Here we go. Who's taking the final game? We got YY, Trent, T-Bones. I think those are my favorites to win this thing. All right, we're down to the top three. We got Trent, T-Bones, and... I don't know how to say your name. Oh! And the person that I said was not in my top three to win it takes the final game. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what is the worst map, skin, and emote in the entire game. I had a lot of fun with this video, surprisingly. Um, and let me know if I should do a part two. Make sure you use code BABYODA, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!